Hey everyone, this is Alan from BMW Durham back again with another video. We have another new arrival. It's the 2023 BMW M2 in black sapphire metallic with M carbon bucket seats. All right, so this is the 2023 BMW M2 in black sapphire metallic. I have the car running and I have the low beams on so you can see what they look like. Uh, this car is really well equipped, so we're going to go through all the details in terms of how this vehicle is equipped, what packages we have and whatnot. But before we do that, I want to just walk all the way around the car to show you some of these beautiful body lines. This part right here is like my favorite part of the whole shape of this car, but let's keep looking at it. car looks so good so now that you have had a chance to see multiple m2s and maybe you've seen one driving about in the wild what do you guys honestly think about the m2 i've always been a fan of it i think it keeps on looking better and better each time i come back to look at it so why don't we go through all the details so i apologize that this vehicle is not washed but i had to make this video we have a power dome here. We have that new style kidney grill with the horizontal slats and the M2 badging here. The headlights are virtually the same as the 2 Series. So these ones are the individual shadow line uh, adaptive LEDs. We've got that beautiful form factor like this. This is a little bit different than 2 Series, but it just makes it more of a boxy look square intakes at the bottom this one doesn't have radar which i like that it doesn't have radar but the radar may block stuff from going into the <laughs> into that rad there but that's okay if we come around to the side we have 19 inch front 20 inch rear uh, 93 M 930 M wheels in black with the blue M compound brakes so that wheel looks fantastic uh, and we do have those nice blue brakes back there I mean I think I would have chose red but that's minor we have body colored M wing mirrors we have carbon fiber roof so this is the first gen M2 where you can option that uh, aside from the F87 M2 CS, we've got that new style antenna up there. We've got beautiful Hofmeister kink, but then we have this massive fat rear quarter that just protrudes. So that body line coming up like this, and it just goes bow, kapow. Look at that. If we come around to the back, we have body colored rear spoiler chrome m2 badging we've got the same exact tail lights as the g42 but then we've got these vertical reflectors in this squared out portion that just makes the back end look even more aggressive and of course we have the quad exhaust tips and this is with the optional 100 dollars exterior black contents just makes these tips black chrome instead of chrome chrome <laughs> And if we go ahead and we open up the tailgate by pressing the micro switch. So inside of here, this is exactly two series. We have a release lever up at the top on either side to fold down the seats and a 60-40 split. We've got your winter floor mats back here, grocery bag hanger, a little netted area. And inside of here, you've got your tire inflator kit and you've got your goop. And down here, I'm sure also somewhere, we'll find the wheel lock key and tow hook handle up top here so you can close this without touching the exterior of the vehicle and on the passenger side here open that up we're looking for 93 octane bmw m recommends shell v power and when we come around to the front passenger door so we do have that new style door handle with the comfort access and when i open that up we have the M illuminated highlighters on the door panel, some pockets down here, Harman Kardon sound system, 
aluminum M2 door sill still wrapped in plastic. But then we have the M carbon bucket seats in the M highlighters colors, which looks so good. So the carbon bucket seats are actually merino leather and then the back seats are Vernasca. So full power seat with side bolster, carbon fiber on the crotch, carbon fiber trim everywhere. The manual transmission six speed, I think that looks so cool there. Glove box. So if I lift this string here with the M colors and I put the seat into the acute position, like so, it will slide forward, allowing us access to the rear area. We have M seat belts here, M seat belts in the back, that looks so good. No armrests in the center, just to pass through. Speakers in the back, we've got more of those triangle patterns that we saw previously. The back of these carbon bucket seats just look amazing and ridiculous. We have some vents on the back of the center console with rear climate controls, vents underneath the front seats, and don't forget, there's a little coat hanger on the back of the B-pillar on each side, so that is not different to the 2 Series at all. But these seats, oh my gosh. So manual transmission, M carbon buckets, shadow line LED headlights, CF roof, this spec is near perfect. <coughs> the only thing that I might change is the exterior color. I prefer Toronto red, but boy oh boy, I'd take black sapphire, alpine white, Zanvor blue, Brooklyn gray, whatever. I'll take it all. Let's take another little closer look at that beautiful transmission there, or the shifter anyways for that transmission. Inside of here, whoa, wait a second. We have a wireless charger here. What? That's different. Wait, so then what's in here? So there's no wireless charger here. There's a USB, cup holders, 12 volt plug. But then what, the wireless charger is here? Interesting, I've never seen that before. Well, I've seen this charger in old BMWs, but not in a 2023. Hmm, anyway, let's go open the door on the other side and see what's on that side. All right, so let's approach from the driver door. Open that up. Aluminum M door sill, it says M2 on it. We have M highlighters in the door card, window controls, side mirror controls, tailgate pop, memory buttons on the driver's side, Hartman Kardon sound system. These M carbon buckets, my gosh, I wish I had these in my car, or I wish this was my car. We have head-up display, we have BMW iDrive 8, we've got carbon fiber on the steering wheel, uh, we've got M1, M2 config, we've got three pedals down there, that left pedal is looking amazing, and we've got some exterior lighting controls. Now, I'm a heavier set gentleman, and a lot of people will say, Alan, you won't fit in those bucket seats. Well, guess what? I fit in them and I'm very comfortable in them. And uh, I was kind of crazy in my youth, so I used to drive cars that actually had real bucket seats that had no adjustment, no lumbar, or sorry, no uh, side bolster. And these bucket seats are also heated. So in all honesty, this is the, mo the most comfortable bucket seat I've ever sat in. So I would choose them. My family might not be happy and my daughter may destroy the back but uh, that's the right choice. Now I'm just gonna clutch in for a second, so I just wanna show you the shifter action. It's a little bit rubbery, but honestly, you can't complain, because you have a manual, reverses all the way to the left. That's what the backup camera looks like. This one does have automatic parking and backup assistant, so that looks really cool. And uh, I like also, that the layout here um, doesn't move the iDrive controller over here, it stays here, I think that's good. Just like in the M4. And we got your head up display on, so if I go into the M mode, uh, I'll be able to change that head up display so it shows a shift indicator and the dash here all changes, so that all looks so cool. Uh, I'm in the M2 config, which is for me right now, the 
oh my gosh this is awesome too just seeing the gears changing as I'm going through the gears oh I really need to stick again one of these days so just to show you again what that animation looks like so I'm just gonna select road Whoosh. oh that looks so cool and let's just do it one more time back to M mode head up display changes okay enough playing with that why don't we go next to take a look at the s58 power plant so i'm just going to open the door and a lot of you will say oh it's so hard to get in and out of that car well i mean there's no cage here so that helps and once i'm out i got out pretty easily and not so bad i'm gonna pull this twice one two let's go take a look at what powers this beast So there it is, the S58 3 liter inline six twin turbo. We have 453 underrated horsepower and 406 foot pounds of torque, but I have seen numbers as high as 475 horse to the wheels. So that is ridiculous. We've got this triangular strut brace. That looks great. Positive battery terminal, negative battery terminal, washer fluid. What a beast. So we've been warming it up this entire time. So why don't we go test out the exhaust sound next. So we're already in Sport Plus everything. Let's try it out. Man, oh man, that sounds so good. I love the S58 sound. It would sound even better with an exhaust, but for stock, that sounds fantastic. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, so before we conclude the video, I just wanted to do one more walk around. This time I've got the four-way flashers on just so you guys get a chance to see what that looks like on this vehicle. This car looks very, very, very aggressive. I know it's not the typical BMW language, but it's definitely a BMW. I hope someday I have the, a car like this. All right, everyone, so that was my tour of this beautiful 2023 BMW M2 in black sapphire metallic with uh, all the carbon goodies, M carbon bucket seats, carbon roof, and of course with that six speed manual transmission. I really love this spec. You guys let me know what you think. Uh, if you like the car, if you like the video, if you like me, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Uh, pricing information is in the comments or in the description below. Uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.